What are you doing? I thought this is how far I'm supposed to be away from the camera. <laughs> <I'm an> asshole. <laughs> What's up, boys? Back out here. Let's answer some of these questions. What's up, guys? Can I answer some of your guys' questions for you? Obviously, why am I so far away from the camera? A couple of people have answered that for you guys down in the comments. I don't like to be on camera. I'm always behind the camera. I'd rather do like a POV. I didn't explain it. I didn't want to put this into like some pity thing or, or something. I was in an accident. I don't really like the way I look. I still look completely different than I did before the accident. This side of my face is all like plastic surgery. This is all fake. This eyebrow doesn't work. And my jaw is over this way a little bit. And I got this huge scar. I don't. I just don't like the way I look. And since I died, if you want to go watch the story, I'm not trying to turn this into a pity fest. It's on my channel, on my homepage. It's like the third video down. You can go watch it. It's one of my like first videos ever. It's bad storytelling and bad editing, but it gets the story across. And if I would have done something like this behind the camera like I normally do, the first comment would have been, how can you say this as you're hiding behind the camera? So it was kind of a lose-lose. Uh, next big question, contracts. There is contracts. I can't, we can't legally release those. So it would, I, I don't know how to say that. My attorney's gone over them. My attorney's gone over all these videos. That's another question too, attorneys. We'll get to that. But my attorney's gone over the contracts. I would have to blur out everything. His name, my name, uh, notary's name, everything would be blurred and make no sense. Either one of us put those contracts out, it's probably just gonna make a judge pissed and throw it out. Or like if I released it, it'd probably be like, I couldn't use it as evidence. If he releases them, the judge will probably just be like, you're stupid, pay him whatever he wants. So uh, you're never gonna see those contracts. Um, oh, the whole, uh, I did this for shout outs or whatever people keep saying. I didn't make videos back when me and Tommy started. So you'd have to be like one of my first couple hundred subscribers or you'd have to remember from the live streams, there was like this whole goal. If I got 300 subscribers, I'd put a video out. That was like Tommy kind of like talked me into like, make a channel, I can help you grow it. He was gonna be like my Chris and I was gonna be his Tommy or however you wanna call it. And he wasn't the first person I helped out, I don't believe. He was pretty close, but no, he wasn't. He was not the first person that it wasn't for clout. I didn't want to make videos. All my videos are behind the camera. I don't want fame. I don't care. I make videos because it gives me a purpose. I spent two years in bed. I'm still technically cut in half. I can't show you guys. It's not this way, it's this way. You gotta go watch my video if you care. But I, I make videos because it gives me something to do than just lay around and be miserable and depressed and whatever. To go back to the whole me behind the camera, that's also the easiest way for me to be able to do them because I'll come out for an hour and tinker around and then I have to go rest for an hour or two and then I'll come back out and tinker around. So if I'm not in front of the camera, I don't have to worry about like editing that. I can just pick up like where I left off and you guys don't know that it's been two days. Why I only put out a video once a week? Because it, it usually takes me about a week to make a video. Because I'll come out, I'll work for a little bit, and then I gotta go rest. It is what it is. There's still gonna be a group of people that think I'm full of it. And I'd be lying if I wasn't like, oh, it'd be awesome if the channel would pay for itself. If the channel would buy parts and stuff here and there. But it just, it's not a big deal to me. It just gives me a purpose and something to do. Alright, next is attorneys or why I don't sue. A lot of questions like that. Get a lawyer, why don't you get a lawyer? You need to talk to an attorney. Why didn't you just sue? Why'd you do this? All that type of stuff. I don't wanna hear anything about me like coming off bragging, being snobby or anything like that. You guys keep asking about this, okay? I have attorneys. I have multiple attorneys. My one attorney I consider a really good friend. He has his own law firm. He's a big dog attorney. His name's on the side of multiple buildings and they've seen these videos, they know what's going on. Most of my attorneys agreed if I could settle out of court and not have to like ruin this guy's life, okay. Except for one of them. One of them really, really, really wants to go to court. It's gonna be like this snowball effect. Like my one attorney has promised me that if we go to court, it's gonna snowball into this and it's gonna trigger them to look into other things. And I'm not trying to like take this guy away from his family. I, I know like a bunch of people have painted me as like this evil, 
person trying to attack him and ruin this guy's life. That's not the plan. I'm still being very nice. I just want my money. And I'm hoping that we can work something out. That is the plan. Why did I not tell Chris? I did. It took me a while to get a hold of Chris. Okay, there for a while, I thought Chris was like involved. Like Chris knew everything that was going on and this and that. And I was trying to get his number. I was trying to get a hold of him. I messaged him on Instagram. Tommy would not give me his number. Like I said, I thought Chris was kind of involved there for a little bit. And anytime like Chris did something that like I didn't agree with or that I was upset with, or Tommy would say Chris isn't going to do this or that, I'd be like, give me Chris's number. And he'd be like, oh, he's not going to answer for you. There's no point. I ended up getting his number from Roberto, which I had to like, Proved to Roberto that I wasn't just some fanboy, and I ended up telling Chris everything. And I think he thought I was over exaggerating it, but like he didn't believe me. <laughs> like, I don't know how else to say it. He didn't believe me at first. And when he was here, when he drove all the cars, I asked him if he wanted to see the clips, and he said no. And I don't think Chris leaving is just from like this situation, it is the best of my opinion. I don't think Chris leaving is just from those clips or whatever. I think it's a lot more than that that he doesn't want to talk about. And it is what it is. But I did tell Chris. It took me a while to get a hold of him. I tried to tell him almost immediately. I, I don't know. I just it made me feel bad when people were all like, well, you're not free and clear because you just sat there and you were perfectly okay with that. No, I didn't. You can ask Roberto. I started trying to get a hold of Chris back when all that happened. I, I don't know what else to say about that, and um, I think that's most of the questions. Tommy put some screenshots out of him saying that he was trying to settle with me. It didn't really go down like that. If I have to pull up the clip, I will, but it was it was more of like him wanting me to sign everything, saying that I'll gamble it all away on a R32 four-door giveaway. He was all like, hey, I just want to settle off with you, and the only reason why I did that was because after I told Chris, Chris confronted him. I didn't talk to Tommy for like eight months before that. And as soon as I told Chris, Chris went and asked Tommy if all this was true. And Tommy underplayed it and got a hold of me. He was like, hey, I don't need this getting out. Let's try to settle this up. He wanted me to sign papers saying that whatever the giveaway does is what I get. And I know a lot of you guys think I'm like completely stupid, but if I did that, he just wouldn't promote it. If he just didn't promote it, I mean, the giveaway could have done five grand for all I know. I wasn't going to sign those documents. So he, he put out a screenshot making it seem like he's been trying to settle with me since 2020 and that's just not true. I think that's all the questions for like the Tommy stuff, but uh, a lot of my 3S guys have been asking me about Adrian's car. So I'm going to give you guys an update on that. We'll jump right into a couple clips there. We've been waiting on parts, so it hasn't been going as smoothly as we thought. We thought we had everything, but it turns out a lot of stuff didn't get shipped or missing and it's but here you go. Here's an update on his build for those of you that are interested in that. All right, boys, back at Adrian's, working on the stealth. Same thing as the 3000 GT. I'm not going to do step by steps on his build. If you guys are interested, it's all on my channel. There's a whole playlist. I did step by step every single thing. Every nut, every bull is recorded and already on my channel. We're just going to try to fly through this one so we can get it done before winter. We're just test fitting everything right now. So I'm taking this all back off because if you watch my videos, you know you have to put this all on is like one whole piece. It is not fun. You need like six hands to do it. You got to have all your coolant lines, your return line, your downpipe, and all these brackets have to be all bolted onto the turbo and the exhaust manifold and all go on as one whole piece. But you need to like have everything loose. So I'm going to take this all back off. Get it all together on the bench and I will uh, bring you guys back. Okay boys, I don't know what all I recorded yesterday or if I even used any of that footage because it was kind of just me and Adrian hanging out, barely talking, just staying busy, bolting stuff on. We've got turbos on, got the maze puzzle, jigsaw puzzle of the brackets on, got heat shields on. 20 turbos are sick, I'm super jealous, super, super, super jealous. We're going to put it in time today. We messed up just like we did on mine too. You gotta take the valve covers off to torque these cam gears down. But we took the time to clean everything, silicone everything in the right spots, torque it all down the spec, did the right pattern, everything, it's all gotta come back off. Yeah, we should be able to put this thing in time today. 
It should be almost ready to sit in the car today. Adrian's cleaning cam gears. This one's clean. We're just putting them on. Uh, uh, are you waiting on me? Yep. Sitting here cleaning the, the part that the belt goes at. I'm only cleaning the part where the belt rides on. That's all I care about. Someone's got like freaking silver on all of or something. We gonna race when I'm done with this car? Yeah, I'll race you. Before you put your 20 keys in? I mean, there's no point, but okay. I'll be making 500 horsepower, you'll be making 7. There's no point in that. Driver mod, man. It does give me an advantage. Alright, come on. That's no. the side you don't even see. Is it cracked? It's got a freaking gouge missing. We ain't using that. That was fun. Oh my god, Becky. Go up there to my my house of cam gears and grab one. Yep. If I actually leave this clip in, the reason why I'm inspecting these so much is because when I got my engine originally back from Story Motors, every single one of my cam gears had cracks in them. Did I say just hit them with the impact? Huh? Just hit them with the impact. Fuck taking the belt cords back off. Fuck it. What's gonna happen? The fuck? It's not my engine. It's your motor. It's not mine. Fuck that. It's not my engine. Just hit it. What's the biggest impact you got? You could probably do it if you had your cam gear lockers. I like this. Look at this thing, guys. This thing's sick. I got the Milwaukee, like, ratchet. Cam gears are all torqued down, 65. He is not doing adjustable cam gears with his cams. He's running the same cams as me. I spent the 800 bucks and got the cam gears, and I gained, like, three horsepower. So he's thinking it's just not worth it. I know there's a couple of you guys in the comments that said if I did the exact opposite of what I did, I think I did one intake positive and three negative on the exhaust. If I did the exact opposite, if I did three negative on the intake and one positive on the exhaust, I would get like 30 horsepower. I haven't had time to mess around with that. I need to play with that on the dyno. I'm trying to work that out. I just, that day that I was actually on the dyno, we were in a rush, we were just trying to get done. So we're gonna put these valve covers back on. You wanna put silicone in all these little corners? Just put a little dab in all these corners. Everything's ready to be in time. We've got tensioner, tensioner pulley, idler pulley, cam gears, crank gear. Before you start putting motor mounts and stuff on this side, you gotta put the belt on first. So we're almost there. Right now, he doesn't have a belt. All thought he had a belt, but he does not have the timing belt. So, but we went around and we got all the other little brackets on. He wants to run this, so he has somewhere to hook to. This is stupid. It is, because you got once you do that, it's hard to put your intake manifold on. You don't have any room to play. It's gotta go right perfect there, but. He wants it. It's his car. That's pretty much all we can do right this second because he does not have a timing belt. We need a coil pack bracket and new coil packs. We need the water pump housing on. You got to do all this like stuff off the engine stand. But it's going to be it for uh, right now. This is the end of the video. Don't uh, forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you're interested in uh, anything to do with the Dodge Stealth for 3000 GT, everything's on my channel complete rebuilds, mistakes, what to do, what not to do, step by step, every single thing. There's been nothing, I don't think, that you could do that I have not walked you guys through on my car. From fuel pumps, pistons, bearings, rings, cams, cam gears, timing, water pumps, turbos, just oh, everything's on my channel. If you're interested in it, go check it out. I will uh, see you guys in the next one. See you.